Hello everyone, and once again, welcome back to the Los Santos Combat School of Fly. Now, in you go. Don't keep Mr. Kitsune waiting. What's up ladies, welcome back once again to Combat Fly. Today I'm going to do one final lesson on combat flying and this time it's going to be all about the advanced stuff. Hopefully you were one of the guys who joined me on one of my previous lessons. If not, then you better take some notes because you're in for one hell of a ride. Alright, in this lesson we're going to be covering all combat aircraft. Mainly the Hydra, the Buzzard and the Savage Helicopter. So if you happen to fly around in Annihilators, then get the hell out of my class! Alright, so let's begin the lesson with... In a previous lesson we covered how useless some of the homing rockets can be in Los Santos. Well, it turns out that they're so useless that there's instances where you don't even have to worry about them much. Such as the case of dive bombing and charging. When I mean dive bombing, I mean flying around in a hydra or laser and flying directly towards your opponent. This is when you can expect them to get their missile launchers out and begin getting a lock on you. However, this isn't much to worry about and can actually help you out to get a drop on your enemies. The golden rule is to wait for them to fire. When a missile begins flying towards you, simply duck down to go under the missile and avoid it, followed by immediately using your machine gun to eliminate the target. This goes for both air and ground targets. When I talk about charging, I refer to the act of flying towards someone when in a helicopter. The same principle of dive bombing applies here, but it's slightly different. When flying towards an enemy helicopter, for example, if they begin to get a lock on you, simply bank to the left or the right in relation to them to avoid their missiles. You see, missiles have a very slow turn rate, and if you're at too great of an angle, the missile won't be able to turn in time and hit you, especially if you're heading right towards them, hence the name charging. Give this tactic some practice and missiles will become something to laugh about. Anyways, with that over and done with, let's talk about... Alright, so first person mode is actually something that I quickly covered when I did the Hydra guide, but a lot of you were asking about how to actually get it to work. It turns out that depending on the platform you're on, initializing aim mode is slightly different for some reason. Yeah, don't ask me why. But anyways, the normal way you initialize aim mode, at least on PC, is by simply clicking down on the right thumbstick once. You don't hold it down, which is how you look backwards, you just click it to toggle it on and off again. Another way you can do it if that doesn't work is by going into your options and enabling the first person vehicle hood option. Then press the view change button until you get to the nose view. Going into nose view will drastically improve your accuracy when utilizing machine guns on an aircraft, but it also decreases your field of view, so change in and out of it accordingly to make sure you don't crash into anything while fighting. And with that over, I've got one last thing I'm going to share with you guys. Alright ladies, you stuck with me through thick and thin through these lessons and now I'm going to show you something that you can try yourself. I wouldn't really recommend you do this in an actual fight as it's not that practical to do, but watch closely. I like to call it the Hydra Drift. Alright, so that went by a bit quickly so I'll break it down. Begin by approaching the enemy. Fly to the side of them a bit so they don't hit you with their missiles. Turn into VTOL mode and immediately use the left or right rudder to turn towards them. As you fly sideways, aim carefully and fire at the target. If you get it just right, you'll feel awesome. And with all my knowledge passed on to you guys, I hope that you can have a bright future of flying around Los Santos and pissing off everyone in the free play session. And on that bombshell, it's time for you to get the hell out of my classroom. Dismissed!